Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. Today's topic, China rising. As the United States shed jobs in basic manufacturing and watched its industrial base go to places like Canada and Mexico, no one worried because we were becoming a new economy. We were creating a massive service sector and moving the bulk of our revenue generation into finance. Then the service sector jobs also moved overseas. Even more manufacturing fled to cheaper alternatives elsewhere, and the financial system collapsed upon itself. In the midst of this crisis, many politicians and business leaders called on the United States to spearhead growth and development in next generation energy te technologies. The United States was to become the world's leader in solar and wind power, and in alternative energy research and development. Unfortunately, the, uni the United States has been usurped once again from overseas. After the political system in this country failed to get moving and gain initiative, the Chinese government began boosting its own research and development in energy fields. Seeing that it would soon become the world's leading consumer of oil, the Chinese government sought to avoid the mistake of American oil addiction and nip its problem in the bud. As a result, a massive alternative energy economy subsidized by the government has sprung up in China. The Beijing Olympics in 2008 boosted wind turbines to generate electricity for shops and venues. And according to the New York Times, government-backed solar panel manufacturers are growing by leaps and bounds. SunTech, a Chinese firm, even hopes to build solar panel factories inside the U.S., producing materials for distribution around the world. With no major domestic challenger to these foreign-owned industries, the U.S. may find itself outdone in alternative energy the same way it was undermined in the automotive sector. American executives who work with the Chinese firms are being asked to quiet anti-Chinese sentiments to make the market infusion easier, and groups which are eager to collect jobs at all costs are happy to insource production from overseas. There is nothing wrong with a foreign-owned company employing American workers and producing inside the U.S. What is wrong is when these companies, which are given tax incentives by our government as well as their own, are able to use their fortunate position to capture the market and force out domestic competition. Alternative energy was supposed to be the new wave of the future for American jobs and the recreation of our lost manufacturing base. Now, it seems as if it is nothing more than a different version of the same story. Just as foreign automakers undercut American, American automakers decades ago, foreign energy services could do the same in the future. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more on this and other related news, tune in and log on every day at economyincrisis.org. Wake up, America. Open up your eyes. Wake up, America. Wake up.